In this video, we'll have a look at filing a T2 return uh, when you don't have an e-file number from CRA uh, from ProTax and QuickBooks Online Accountant. The ProTax uh, prepared T2 return can be filed with an e-file number from CRA if you have one issued, but you can also file using a CRA issued web access code or you can request the web access code while filing so a t2 return uh, you can file that with a web access code you can also file an alberta at1 if required uh, since you can't prepare a quebec return a co17 there's no method for filing a co17 from protax at this time you have to prepare the return first. You make the entries, review audit messages. You can file the return when you're all set. Everything's entered and messages are resolved. Uh, you can request the web access code while filing. Uh, there's also a place to enter your web access code that you were issued by CRA. Uh, just to mention here, the web access code for filing a T2 is eight numbers. Uh, it's eight numbers long and no letters. Uh, let's go and look at how you how you file with a web access code in Protax. I'm in Protax on a test return, a T2. Uh, it's not my return, so I'm not going to mess around with it. There's a lot of messages and things, but I can demonstrate how to file with the web access code from this file. Uh, what I can do is go to eFile, and it gives me the option to file a T2 in Alberta, and I prepared a T1135 just to demonstrate something here. So I'm going to click on the T2 from the eFile menu, and it takes me to the screen, and I can see here there's uh, an eFile number entered, so I can file with that. If I don't have that though, I can click on web access code. And if I just scroll down a bit, I can enter a web access code and the web access code should be eight, eight digits. It's an eight digit number. But if I look here, you can leave this blank and it will request the web access code while you're filing. So you can just leave it blank and then go ahead and file. So, I can file this return. I'll have trouble with that because uh, there's audit messages. So it won't actually file, but just to demonstrate. You click on web access code. Enter your web access code if you have it. If you don't have one and want to request one when you're filing, leave it blank and uh, you'll e-file. During the e-filing process, you'll, it'll ask for a web access code and it'll file the return. If I click over on Alberta, there's nothing to enter here. So you don't need a, uh, any Alberta credentials to file. So just like I see here, up at the top, I can request a web access code in e-file or file Alberta return. Uh, it's great out because I've got a lot of messages. Okay, let's go back to edit return. I just want to look at a couple of uh, Alberta related forms. So I added this, uh, the AEDI, and I did that because for every Alberta return, you have to enter the contact person information. So make sure as part of the return, for Alberta filing, you bring up the AEDI and enter the contact person information. The other thing is if you're having trouble filing a return or won't let you file or you don't get the option to file, there's the A exempt. It's a checklist and it lets you know if this return is exempt from filing. So if it doesn't give you the option to e-file, have a look at this screen and uh, it'll maybe tell you that it's uh, exempt from AT1 filing. So that's filing the T2 and the AT1. Next, or last, file the T1135. Now if I look here, 
it only allows me to file with an e-file number. So there's no request a web access code or enter your web access code to allow you to file a uh, T1135. I hope you found this filing uh, Protax T2 helpful. If you want more support options, I'll put a little card here on this window uh, with a video for how to find different help options in Protax. Thank you for viewing this video.